how can my lips be this trapped in humidity? In this much humidity? I don't even know. Okay. Before we start this video, I would like to tell you a little bit about my morning because I came into the shop this morning and I was pretty horrified by what I found. The hose pipe had not been turned off. Now, I don't mean someone left the hose pipe with water coming out of it. I just mean at the faucet at the wall, it hadn't been turned off. Now, the water pressure is actually really, really, really high in this unit. I don't know if that's just an industrial commercial thing or what, but it is stupidly high. And what happens is if you don't turn the hose pipe off, and I have been victim to this a couple of times, not quite this severely, but you can maybe get a bit of a flood, a bit of a leakage, because what can happen is the joints on the pipes, the part that holds the hose pipe to the tap, and also the nozzle of the hose pipe, they can start leaking. And although it's a little bit of leak, if you don't come here for a week, it can get a little bit much. Now, I would love to say that's what happened this morning, except what actually happened was the pressure was so great, it blew the hose off the tap, the tap that had been left on. What happened was I came into this unit and there was water absolutely everywhere. I'm late filming today because I've had to clear it up and I think you can probably tell here that it's quite wet still. It's nearly dry now. I had to get a brush. I had to team up with Ben. We had two brushes. I was sweeping this way because I think the unit is on a bit of a tilt. So back here in this corner it was like it was very very deep. It's the deepest part of the shop. So I had to brush it out of here. Ben had to carry on and we had to open the big shutters and basically brush it all out. In and it took about an hour and I'm pleased to say it's actually drying reasonably well but this is about three hours after that so I probably had about an inch of water nearly all over the entire unit so that's fun I thought I'd just tell you about that especially since I took a video of it and I thought someone out there might appreciate it so So a little PSA, if you're in a similar situation to me, please do not leave your tap on unattended, even if the hose seems fine, because that can happen. And I'm so pleased this hasn't happened in a house or a back garden, because it would do my head in. Now that I'm done reliving my trauma, today's video is going to be another update video. Now I've said this a few times, I kind of like doing it, because I get so many plants into this shop. Sometimes I can't even remember what I've got in. I can't remember when you guys have saw it, what it looks like now, what it looked like before. A lot of people ask me for updates sometimes on Instagram and things like that, and I think, oh yeah, I'll do that, and then I forget. So I've grabbed a little cluster of plants, not many, just to give you some updates today. So if that sounds like a nice chilled thing you'd like to watch on this Friday afternoon, then please feel free to make a snack and have a drink and we will get right on with it. Now, what do I have to show you? I have, what do I have? Something old, something blue. You know what that is. I've got two plants from in front of the wall as well. Oh, he's around the corner. I need to remember to grab him. I have something pink. I have something long and pointy. I have a few long and pointy things. I have some dark things. I've got a really good blend. I think the only thing I don't have, guys, is something variegated. I think that's actually what's missing from this video. Technically, technically, this is an update. And if you watch my repop with me, you'll know what I'm probably going to tell you. That guy there, he's technically variegated. This guy here in the bucket, that's my Philodendron Gigantium. He all but snapped the other week. And if you watch my report, you may know about it. I've had to chop him down, put him in there, and I'm going to have to propagate him out. And I probably will sell him, by the way. I'll sell these bits of him because they're all single leaf cuttings. So technically he is variegated. Technically that is an update. It's just not an update I ever wanted to give. So, right, I'm going to do a smaller one first because why not? So I wanted to show you this and you're going to be thinking, right, what? Ew. But I just wanted to simply show you it and I wanted to make the point that this pink princess, because that's what it is, it's very cute by the way, let me just show you. It, it's, it's seriously cute, it's, it's awesome. 
This pink princess has been taken from those other pink princesses that I had that weren't super pink. If you remember, I may have shown you before. I have a whole tray over there. They've got varying amounts of pink on them, but I wanted to bring it back just to prove the point that these things don't have to be super variegated. They can come back. So when you buy pink princesses in garden stores for really cheap, I don't know how long it will take them to go pink, but as long as there is some pink in there, they should be okay. And I want to show you this one because it's particularly pretty, actually. It's like very, very pink. So if I try and cover this a little bit, can you see that? That's really nice. Look at that. Oh, it's not the prettiest plant in this video today because uh, the blue boy is, I mean, can't wait to show you that. But I just wanted to show you it because it is really nice. If you can stand the weight, guys, they are worth it. If you can't be bothered to wait for these things to look sexy, then maybe buy one that already looks sexy. I might keep this one because it's actually the nicest one. Obviously, I'm not going to pull out the worst one to show you, am I? I might keep this one for myself. There are some others that are quite good and I might sell those just to keep the good ones coming out, I suppose. But just to let you know, don't don't give up on them. I know they're a nightmare. I know, I, I know they're a nightmare. I have about 50 and most of them are green like two years later. I get it, guys. They're a nightmare. But if you get a nice one, sure. Now, I'm going to repeat what I said a couple of weeks ago. Please, let's not go naming them stupid names. Please, 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 please don't. The reason I don't like to name things like, for example, sorry, pink princess marble, it makes people think that this is a different plant from a pink princess, right? A lot of people say, oh, well, I don't understand why you have a problem with that. That's basically why I have a problem with calling things weird names that aren't registered and things like that, right? It's not a good idea because people will think that it's a different plant and they will try and buy two of them. And I think sellers have to take some responsibility for that because they know fine well they're doing that. They know fine well they're doing that. And I don't think that's right. I think if you're a seller, you have a responsibility for some sort of just transparency really. So if you want to get a better pink princess, yes, do it, go for it. If you want to buy an established one, please just disregard. I'm, I'm giving you my, my best advice I can give you and you don't have to take it. Don't buy one pay more money for it based on whatever name it has been given because it doesn't mean anything guys it doesn't mean anything variegation in these plants is the same as variegated monstera it's very chaotic it changes all the time like look at the state of these leaves and look at what they're turning into it's different it changes all the time all the time all the time start out speckled it's become a little bit more now it's on the margin now it's halfway down the leaf now it's spreading out again. It changes, okay? Please, you do you, of course, but just be very, very careful. Anyway, I wanted to give you an update because he is very pretty and I think he deserves to be seen. And when they look like this, I think they're actually really nice plants. I know I've told you that I don't really like the plant. I don't. When they look like this, I kind of like them. But I'm sure I'm not the only person there. I think a lot of people probably feel the same way. But anyway, rant over on this sort of stuff. But he is quite cute, isn't he? I think I might keep him. He's, he's rather sweet. I don't know if my mum wants one or not. Mum, let me know if you want one because I could be persuaded to give this to you as long as you don't burn him in the conservatory. Let me know. Moving straight on to something dark. This is very, very sexy. Now, this isn't the best example of him. There are better, and I've shown you pictures in the past that are better than this one. But this is all I have down here. The rest of this guy, because there is a few of him, they're up there, and I can't get them. They're above all my feed tests and everything, which... You see these? Yeah, this is a feed test. This is competitive feed right now. Actually, it's due to be cleaned out tomorrow. There are more of these, and this might not actually be the best looking one, and you might not be able to tell what it is. I'll tell you something, it's not Philodendron Dark Lord though. This is actually Philodendron Majesty. Now, I can't pull down a Dark Lord. I have a, quite honestly, I've got about five bushes up there that I've just let grow for the past year and a bit. But there is some differences. Now, the main thing with Philodendron Majesty is all of these stems are matte. Are they matte on here before I make my mouth go? Okay, they're kind of matte on the Dark Lord as well. So strike what I've just said. But the leaves are very, very matte. Now, the Dark Lords are not. But this plant, I mean, literally, it's matte. It's matte black. It's very, very awesome. Very, very dark plant. I don't feel like any of the plants are coming off super dark today. You might be able to see there how dark this plant is. 
They get the most gorgeous, gorgeous shape on the leaves though, which is why I'm telling you that this is not doing anybody any justice. I don't know if you can tell. You can't. This is just the worst case scenario right now. I will probably insert a picture for you of a sexy leaf of a philodendron majesty, right? Because you need to say it seriously. It's amazing. I mentioned this plant before on a video of plants that are different, not too hard to find and not too expensive. So if you're wondering where this plant price is, it's just a bit of an oddball that no one really cares about. But again, these can be Oh, these can be so amazing. You just have to get a good picture. They kind of develop. The reason why they're so amazing is for me, the leaf shape, right? Because you can sort of see something weird happening with this leaf here, but it almost forms a kind of coffin shape, similar to that of Philodendron ilmanii. If you've seen that leaf, it can just be very, very Gothic, to be honest. This is a great Gothic plant. Now the Dark Lord is as well. Don't get me wrong, don't hate it. But this is more compact than that. Obviously the leaves are a completely different shape than that. You can tell by looking at it, it's it's just a different ball game. We do have some lovely, lovely dark undersides as well, just so you can see exactly what we're working with. I'll get you an old leaf as well, so you can really see. They keep the dark underside, that's pretty hot. The underside of a dark lord is, it's lighter than that. It almost looks bronzy when the light comes through it. This, this is a bit darker. Don't get me wrong, at the minute you'd probably look and go, meh, don't really care. But I think this is one of these situations where you need to actually go and search for a majesty and a good one because they're quite impressive actually. And again, no one really has them. And I don't mean in a rare way, I just mean in a nobody cares way. I care though and I quite like him. So I'm going to see what happens with him. I do have some others, so let me know if you are interested, but I'm not expecting anybody to be interested. But I thought I'd uh, show you this. I think I've got four plants up there and they've all come from the one plant. I did buy a ton in in 2020 and I think I just didn't get to them quick enough and they rotted or whatever. So it's a bit of a shame, but I've made several plants out of the one plant. So there he is, Philodendron Majesty. Let me know if you think he's sexy, right? Because if you say to me, hey, I've got a Dark Lord, I don't care. That, I kind of get that, to be honest. I think I prefer these than a Dark Lord. But then again, if you see a mature Dark Lord, they look incredible too. I don't know. Maybe you're just a goth and you want to add more shit to your collection. Maybe this is one for you. I like it. I don't know if the pink pot does it justice. I guess, I guess it's kind of cute, but we'll pop him down and I'm going to show you one of my favorites in a minute. Now this guy needs a water, has to be said, but let's keep him with the dark theme, shall we? This, this, I talk about this periodically, but it has to be seen to be believed. Let me just pop him behind my shoulder. This guy here, this beautiful, beautiful specimen here is what is known as a red crystallinum. So it is Anthurium crystallinum, except for some reason it's red. Now I don't know if that means it's a hybrid or not. I'm not sure. Um, this has come from NSC Tropicals, so this is a genuine red crystal. I think I might only have this and one other in the shop. I did have a couple more, but I sold them a while ago. Hopefully you're a lucky owner of one of them. Tell me how it's doing. But ooh, you can see probably, hopefully, how different they are from a regular crystal. This is, it's actually hardening off now. Actually, we've caught this a little bit late. It's not super floppy. Yeah, it is a little bit floppy, but it's it's probably 50% hardened off. But what happens is the whole leaf comes through this beautiful reddy purple. And when it does harden off, it hardens off to like a black color. Whereas I would say normal crystals are, they're still dark, but they're, they're more of a green. Like you would look at that and go, that's green. You tend not to really look at this and think it's green. As you can probably see, my t-shirt for reference is black. It is a black t-shirt. It's a little bit aged, so it's a bit faded, but it's black. So if I gently put this leaf near the t-shirt a little bit more. You see how dark that actually is. There's no camera trickery. That is just literally that dark. So yeah, this is how they come out. Let me show you up close because it's it's a little bit amazing, isn't it? Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Oh shit, that's good. That is good. Then here is how dark they go. Yeah, okay, that does look dark. And to be honest, that's right in front of a ring light. So that's blowing it out a little bit, arguably. You can see by the substrate here and by the white of the pot that it is getting blown out. And that's how black it looks. So mm. the only shit thing about these plants is they do cost a lot of money. Maybe you can get your hands on them, obviously more if you're in the US, being that these originate from NSE. I don't know how often Enid sends them out or anything like that. Um, she kind of did us a little bit of a favor from us buying them from her a little bit last year. When I had my Variegate Gloriosum sent over, we kind of made a little order on the side. So I don't know how easy they are to get. There are a few of these in Europe and the UK, actually. I don't know how many are in the UK. I know there's some in Europe anyway. So you will find them, but you're probably going to pay a price because everyone knows they come from NSE. So certainly over here, it's it's hard to get 
You know what I mean? Because NSA doesn't really ship out. They did it for us, but it was kind of a favor. So anyway, how cute is he? Isn't he beautiful? Ooh, he's really nice. I'm going to put him down. He really needs a water and a repot. So you might see me repot this guy very soon because I think he kind of deserves it. He's grown a little bit funky, by the way. It's just the way I've had him set upstairs. That's kind of where he lives. But let's put him back down here. Right, I'm going to show you this guy because I think y'all are going to get real mad if I don't update you on him. I'm not so sure he's grown a ton. Some experts in the comments that have seen my last video with this guy in or my Instagram, you would have to tell me how much he's grown because I honestly, I admit I haven't really looked, but I think y'all would get real mad if I didn't show you this. So ah, this guy is so good. I'm looking at him now and there's barely any light on him and he looks incredible. So are you ready? Oh my God, he is a thumbnail. He is a thumbnail. Let me get a thumbnail two minutes. Ah, if you've never seen what this guy is, yes, he is that impressive in real life. If you're lucky to have one of these yourself and it's gone that blue, then congratulations. This is one of my favorite things in the world. This here is a fern. It is a fern. It is called, to my knowledge, Microsorum thailandicum. I guess that means it's originated from Thailand. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that's where I got mine from. I do have babies, but Seriously, the babies just don't seem to grow. This is the only guy that has done me so well and just grows. He sat down here in one of these trays, so as the light is maybe 60 to 70 centimeters away from him, he is sat in approximately 80% humidity and anywhere between 25 and 30 degrees. I haven't really noticed much of a te deterioration from him if that deviates a bit, i.e. the temperature, because the humidity is more or less the same. I mean, the humidity is gonna be up after what's happened today, but you know. But I have to update you because, mm, <laughs> look at that, that's ridiculous. It's almost like it doesn't look real, right? So yeah, it is a fern, for those of you that don't know, but it, it's it's solid. I'd liken it to a Hoya in a lot of senses. If you can, you can probably see when I shake it, how rigid it actually is. Like I can't bend that leaf, that is it, that is it. It's very, very, very Hoya-ish. So if you're good with Hoya leaves, you might be good with this. But again, it is a fern. Can you see the spores? Yes, you can. Oh, look at it. Just oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I remember I, when I got this, I think all of us kind of went a little bit nuts. I know I did. I, I mean, there's no filter on this. This is, that's literally what he looks like. Have you ever seen anything that good? Yeah, I don't know if he's really grown. I can't tell. I just know that he looks beautiful and he's continued to thrive, really. I would love to put this guy in my house, but I can't help but feel like he's just not going to do as well, is he? I need to look up the care. If you have one of these guys growing this well in more household environment than I'm in right now, let me know, because I don't want to move him if he's not going to do well, because this is, this is a thing of beauty. I think we have to agree. I can't believe nature produces things this gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. If you're lucky to find one of these, I'm pretty sure at least they were very, very expensive for a tiny one. They used to be about hundred pounds for something very, very small, maybe the size of my fist, something like that. So good luck if you want to find one. I'm not selling any at the minute because mine are they're just not really growing, guys. I probably have about 30, but they're very, very pathetic. I might try and do some experiments with them and see if I can get them to this level. But my God, sorry, I'm just getting so distracted by this thing because it's so beautiful. There he is, right up to the camera. Just so you really do understand how blue he is. Can we focus, please? Or are we just going to pretend that we see faces and things? Two minutes. Right. Focus. There we go. Look at him. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, my good Lord. So, yeah, that's my uh, Microsorum Thailand. I call him Blue Oily Boy because he is quite oily, like oil slick, like petrol. And he is blue. Uh, that's basically how I came up with the technical term. So not the same as me making up an actual name to sell it, by the way. I hope people actually understand that. I'm taking the piss when I say these things. So anyway, I'm going to put him down because it's actually quite a lot to hold him. He's very, very dense. I suppose he's got a lot of roots, but there you go. There's him. I'm taking him away now. He's very nice though, isn't he? <sighs> right. We're getting bigger and bigger now. I'm going to show you two smaller ones before I have to start lifting up big things because I have like one, two, three four big pots to lift and I haven't been to the gym in a few days and it's gonna suck. Give me a minute. Super quick update on these boys. Now the mother plant, I'll tell you now, is not doing very well. I'll not pick it up. She's just over there. I might do in a repo or whatever. This is Philodendron was Gwixii. Can't pronounce it very well. Apologies, guys. But if you remember, it had two little babies in the pot with it. These are the babies. Now, they've sent out good aerial root in that time. They have grown better. This one has done better than this one, 
which is a bit weird because they are genetically identical. I would have to go back and look on camera the day that I separated everything up and see what the difference is, you know, on the roots, for example, because I'm not really sure. But this one has definitely done better. Has it done amazingly? No, I wouldn't say that. But there is definitely a difference between the two of them if I put them next to each other like that. You can see this one is just more dense. They've had all the same care. They're in the same position in the shop and everything like that. So maybe this is a root thing, but I'm not going to spend any time on these because they look like shit. But just to let you know, they survived and they're all right. They don't love being repotted. I will tell you that. And I know I was warned on that. I was warned that this plant doesn't like a whole lot of much. You are correct. Whoever warned me. Absolutely. The mother looks absolutely horrific right now. It's lost half the leaves that it had when I repotted it and the new leaf has come out severely dwarfed. So we're not doing too great on that front, but it doesn't matter because I have these. You feel me? We're doing all right. Okay, this is gonna not do much for the gains. The next plant I'd like to update you on is really difficult to update you on actually, but can you see this? This is my philodendron longolobatum, and honestly, I can't give you much of a better shot. You see that there? It's gonna be very difficult because this is full of water and it's really really heavy. I think pond makes things heavier than it needs to be. Can you see that there though? New leaf, that's right next to my head. It's sizing up really well. Now you might remember I repotted this guy like months ago and quite honestly he didn't grow for the longest time. The longest time. He had roots and everything, he just didn't really grow well. Recently though he's put out about three leaves in succession and they're definitely getting bigger. Look at this guy, this is the second newest leaf and he's done all right. So I'm not going to hold him up very long because honestly, I can't. But he's doing all right, isn't he? He's really, really nice. So we'll see how he goes. As you can probably see if I just spin him around a little bit. You can see the update on him. He's quite sweet. I do have a couple of these. So if you're interested, you can ask me. You can email the shop. Don't have many though. I might have two or three maximum um, because they do grow very slow. But it seems once they're established, they're all right. So I'm going to pop him down because he's just too heavy, guys. Sorry. He's way too heavy. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull out, there's a stool right there that you can't really see. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to put some of these plants on it and I'm going to adjust the camera if I need to so I can show you them. Actually, no, I've got one more plant before I do that and then I'm going to do that because they're a bit heavy. But before that, I'd like to show you my Philodendron Spiritus Sancti and I was kind of chuckling at this this morning. It's it's a bit dry. It's had a bit of a, a, a problem with the, uh, the heat wave. So there's some old leaves that are going to drop off kind of thing but I thought I'd just leave it as it is. It's doing really well. It's got three growth points, so it's gonna be a real bushy one. I love it when that happens. This is a Spiritus, if anyone cares. It was out way before the TC began on Spiritus, and I, this plant will always make me giggle because it was my first ever run-in with basically assholes on the internet. I, I put it on a plant haul, and no one believed me that it was a Spiritus, and I got a lot of shit for it, if anyone remembers, if anyone has been with me that long. So I always look at it now, and I have a bit of a giggle, but I was giggling especially hard this morning because it's finally, finally, finally become a spiritus. Now it's only the recent leaf, but you will see what I mean. It's finally got its ears in and it's finally looking pretty sexual. So I'm going to grab it now. I know you've seen him before, not too long ago, but I have to show you again. Can you see this leaf in the middle? Can you see that? Look at that. Oh my God. I won't linger on him too long because I do think you guys have seen him recently. Yeah, you can see some of the older leaves have actually had a little bit of a bashing, actually. They're not brilliant, especially not the ones back here. They've done really, really bad. But the rest of them is doing a little bit amazing, is it not? I can just hold this here. I have to be careful of my microphone because everything's going to want to smack it. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, it's finally become a spiritus. And I thought I'd show you because I know a lot of people have bought these TC, either from me or from, from anybody really. And I wanted to just give you a bit of motivation for them to grow because I think because we've seen spiritus and TC so often, we forget what the, you know, what they look like when they grow big and sexy. So here's a little bit of motivation. Uh, this plant should have reached that a long time ago, by the way. If you're going to write a comment going, wait a minute, you got this in like 2019, I think it was. Why is it only this size now? The answer is because it's been cut a few times and it's nearly died several times. It has had a really bad run. I don't even think it was growing for the longest time. It just sat there and didn't budge and I didn't know what was wrong with it. But now it seems absolutely fine. And this leaf here finally has become kind of spiritus-y. It's not 100% there, but if you look at those lobes compared to, you know, some of the old lobes like this here, it has come on a long, long, long way. Very, very bushy, very, very pretty. I'm kind of obsessed with this and it's only gonna get better. It started to grow upwards, which is really weird. I don't know if I can show you that. 
Sorry, I'm just knocking things over. Can you see that? It started off growing along. Long story. And then it's finally decided to grow up, which is good because I will put it on like a stubby little pole or something like that very soon and help it a little bit. Maybe like a 12 inch, you know, cropped off pole just to help him a bit. But, oh, isn't he great? This is awesome for me that he's even still alive because there's been so many situations where he wasn't going to be. So I love him so much. He's great. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you his little progression and his ears because his ears look great and i'm so excited for more i will give you another update on him in maybe six months something like that we'll see how good he actually gets because he's definitely on his way he is definitely on his way right the next two plants as i've just mentioned i would have to adjust the camera for because they are quite large but this plant here you may remember he wasn't this big but he was planted up in a video where i was picking out plants to send to the studio right so maybe that was could it have been three months ago could it have been more i'm not sure but he certainly wasn't this big this is out of control but if you remember, I potted them up, I fed them my feed, and literally every single plant that's down there, I'm not going to show you all of them because some of them are too big. If you remember, a really big plant money, I have put in a huge pot. I can't even move him right now. But I've managed to get this guy and then another guy. They've done so, so, so well. I had to show you them. So as far as I'm aware, this is philodendron, pastazanum, silver, or something like that anyway. As you can probably see, they have this most beautiful silver flush all up the leaves here. He is his newest leaf. He's doing pretty well. He's not quite as leggy as a normal pastazanum, so this silver here would lead me to think that he is kind of a hybrid, just no one's being very vocal about it. I don't know. But I have to show you how well he's grown. Because if you remember, if I can turn him to the side, and this is kind of the best way I can show you him, so I'm sorry that you can't get right up to him. But if you look here on the side, this is what he started with. I don't know how far he went. Perhaps he went up to about here. I'm not really sure. But all of these here are kind of new. He started out quite small. He sized up, you know, in his own way. He's been potted up into here. He's been fed. And he kind of went boom. And I'm so impressed with this. I don't know if I want to put him in the studio anymore. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Kaylee, we've been waiting for that video months. And I agree. It got too hot to even film up there. And the plants were doing so well down here. I thought, you know what? It's not going to hurt if I just leave them a bit longer till it cools down and then I can pop them up there. And then over winter, we can film in there and have a really pretty, you know, green studio. So I know you should have got that video and I realize that you haven't, but you will at some point. <laughs> Okay, but I had to show you the update on these guys because is this not the coolest shit you've ever seen? That is Instagram worthy. I might have to genuinely take a picture of that for Instagram. That is insanely good, is it not? Oh, it's so good. It looks so healthy as well. I don't know if you can get a sense of how healthy this plant is. I've got plants that are growing in the shop that are, I mean, they're getting fed with other stuff at the minute. I'm going to make that transition once my feed comes out. They're getting fed with other stuff. They're not necessarily this healthy or this quick growing because I do have, you can't see them, but down here behind this monstera, I have sort of a, a maybe half a tray of, of these. So I do have some young ones if you're interested, but this guy right here, like, Oh my God, how pretty is he? Now he is over the edge of the pot, so I actually don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm genuinely thinking of cutting him, keeping the, you know, the top part and just let him do what he's going to do. I haven't really decided, but I tell you, I don't have a ton of time to decide. So let me know what you think I should do with this. Do I just get a bigger pot for him and go, right, okay, this is him now. He's a big boy. Or do I try and preserve the space in my house? And do I cut him, you know, lob the last few nodes off and keep him and root him and you know, great times. Because if I'm going to do that, I've mentioned this on a video before, but I will put a pot under here and let him root into it and then chop him. So let me know what you think I should do. I don't really know, but he is starting to lean down. So honestly, a decision needs to be made really within three weeks. So as soon as you see this, please let me know what you think I should do. But how beautiful is he? Oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, I'm going to put him down and I'm going to get the last plant that I want to update you on. I think I've done them all. Let me do a quick check. Yeah, I think I have. So I'm going to put him down. But he is awesome, isn't he? I'll just show you here the progression. Since I can lift him up temporarily, there you go. You can see that on the end of the pot. And if I just fill the frame with him, just so you can really see how amazing this is. So you can see how the leaf decides to color itself like that. Oh, oh, this plant, guys, is so pretty. <laughs> All right, so this guy is not quite as big, but he wasn't quite as big to start. That other plant did start out bigger. This guy here, I'm not entirely sure what he is. And if you've seen my Instagram of late, 
then you may recognize probably this guy right here. I'm not sure what he is, guys. I honestly thought he was Mammy, but I don't know. He's, he's definitely crawling, if that helps anybody identify him. Uh, this is his new leaf here, and it's coming in really, really nice. And he has a spot that's more brighter than the other spots on there. I don't know if you can see that, but not variegation. Not variegation, I've said this a million times, but he is also doing very, very well. It's funny because they've been sizing up until the heat wave. That last plant I showed you has, its newest leaf is a little bit smaller, as is this one, even though they were continuously sizing up. So I don't know if it was the heat wave that stunted them a little bit or what. It's a little bit odd. But that said, it's done brilliantly, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Hasn't it? It's done amazingly. Again, same thing, fed it with my feed, potted it that day on that video and it's been left. It's been topped up whenever. I think it's only had one feed. I don't actually think I've refed it. Pretty sure it's only had one feed then it's been topped up with water. I like to do that anyway, just to make sure the feed doesn't build up. But he's done pretty amazingly. I just wish I knew what he is. He took a little bit of a dive actually when he was planted. You can see a little bit of shit here. I don't know if you can see that one down there. That leaf took a bit of a hit, but generally speaking, it's done pretty well, has it not? It's quite a pretty plant. I think I prefer the other one more, but he's still very, very beautiful, isn't he? I don't know what to call him. I mean, for now, I will probably call him Mame, um, but I don't know. Again, he, he has silver on it. It's not a country mile of silver. You know what? Maybe this plant was crossed with the silver pasta, and that's why the pasta looks that way. But then again, these are like ribbon petioles, so maybe not. I don't know. What do you think? I don't really know. Anyway, that does actually conclude my update video for today. No, it is not every plant, but can you imagine if I actually updated you on every single plant in this room? I don't know how many thousand we are at, but it's crazy. I'm just looking at the living wall right now. The living wall has been ravaged a bit recently, actually, um, due to the heat wave, but the parts that have sort of overgrown and taken over, oh, it looks so good. I will make sure I show you soon, guys. I just need to tidy the wall up a bit, I think. I need to take that queen off. The queen is still on the wall. That should not, should not still be happening. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this update. Let me know what you think about anything I've said. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps me out. It lets me know that I'm making videos that you enjoy. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you could subscribe to me. That's it for this week's video, guys. Make sure you follow my socials and I will see you in the next one. Bye.